All right, hey guys. Here I am in my classroom near at home, but I'm gonna work a couple problems from that day one homework. So first one, just number two, from the um, simplifying square roots worksheet. And then number 12, from that rationalizing the denominator worksheet. So first, when we simplify square roots, it helps to know what perfect squares you can divide 216 by. So what can go into 216? But it helps to know what the perfect squares are. So for this one, 4 goes into 216. But there's a bigger number that goes into 216, and that is 36. So if you divide 216 divided by 36, you get, um, what is it? 6, I think. Yep. So that can break down the square root of 36 times 6, which is the same thing as this. Square root of 36 is equal to 6, so a perfect square. And then no perfect square is going to 6 except 1, but doesn't do anything to divide it by 1. You're just left with the same number. All right, number 12 um, on the next sheet. There's a couple of different ways to do it. Um, here's the first way I did it. So you can split, um, you can split these square roots into just one big fraction. So three over six, and then three over six can simplify to one half. So let's do that. So three over four times that's just one half. Then we have the simplest fraction. Okay, next, we can break this down more to square root of one over square root of two. Okay, which uh, square root of one is one, so that's just three over four square root of two. See if I have enough room to complete this. Maybe I'll erase that. All right. Okay, I'm going to send you a link on why we, um, why you don't want radicals in the denominator, but um, I'll just, if you want to read that link, you can. Okay, but we don't want radicals in the denominator. To get rid of them, I can times any fraction by 1, and square root of 2 over square root of 2 is equal to 1. What happens when you do that, then multiply straight across, times... 3 square root of 2 over 4 times, and then square root of 2 times square root of 2 is equal to square root of 4, which just equals 2. So your final answer, 3 square root of 2 over 8. I think that's, yep, that's what I got earlier. Um, the other way to do it, I'll just talk about it. Um, See, oh, you could break square root of 6 down into square root of 3 times square root of 2. And then all you got to do is um, those cancel out because square root of 3 over square root of 3 is just 1. So then now you're just go to this step here. So that might be easier to do it that way. All right. That's it.